Large Hadron Collider is the world's biggest atom smasher. It's possible that CERN has found something so amazing that it changes everything we thought we knew. This famous center has been at the center of important research since the 1950s, but it has always been on the edge of what scientists know. What does this shocking find mean for U.S.? Let's learn more about this shocking story. Putting the universe's secrets on display, the Large Hadron Collider is one of CERN's most well-known projects. It is the biggest particle generator in the world. In a loop, it's over 27 kilometers long and cost more than $4.5 billion. A lot of people say this money was well spent because the LHC has led to some of the most important finds in the past few years, like finding the Higgs boson and other particles that were not known before. Over 11,000 laps per second, this huge machine can speed up different particles around its loop until they are almost moving at the speed of light. This is possible because of very strong electromagnets inside the accelerator that make a magnetic field that is over a thousand times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Some people were concerned that making such a strong magnetic field could harm devices in the area and even the magnetic field of the Earth. When these particles hit their top speed, which is 99.91% of the speed of light, they are made to crash into each other. These powerful crashes release a lot of energy and different particles. Particle showers are made when particles hit each other and spread in all directions. They only last for a few hundredths of a second before they disappear. With different kinds of particles, scientists can find brand new particles in these bursts. Around the impact sites, ultra-sensitive monitors are put in place to record all the information from each one. These studies have yielded a huge amount of information that helps us learn more about the basic parts of the world. The work being done at CERN keeps pushing the limits of what we know, making us question what we think we know about the physical world and leading to the creation of new tools and ideas. The most surprising thing is how much we still don't know about the world. A lot of people work at the Large Hadron Collider, which is where scientists from all over the world gather a lot of information from interactions between very small particles. Scientists carefully look over the more than 15 petabytes of raw data that these tests make every year. It was a big deal for the LHC when it stored more than 200 petabytes of data on its tape banks in 2017. To give you an idea, a petabyte is the same as 250,000 films. Scientists always look through data for anything out of the ordinary. A strange thing was recently seen with a particle type known as the beauty quark. There are different kinds of quarks, which are the building blocks of everything. According to the standard model, which is a way of thinking about how basic particles behave, the beauty quark should break down into lighter particles called leptons, which could be an electron or a muon. But the LHC data showed something strange. Beauty quarks were turning into muons 70 times more often than they were turning into electrons. This should normally happen about half as often as it does now. Some scientists think there might be new physics beyond the standard model because of this strange ratio. It suggests there might be a new type of particle involved. Finding a new particle could change how we think about physics and give us answers to many questions that we still don't have. There are four basic forces, but the standard model only talks about three of them. These are the electromagnetic, strong, and weak forces. It doesn't talk about gravity or dark matter, which makes up most of the universe. This strange thing about the beauty quark could lead to important finds. It could reveal physics we don't fully understand and change the way we think about how the world works. Scientists are still very interested in finding this new particle and learning about the forces it might reveal. This search holds the promise of giving them greater insights into the mysteries of the universe. New results from the LHC make us question what we thought we knew about particles. New lethal forces with the LHC, the strange event makes scientists think that what they think they know might not be full, which leads them to look for new ideas. A few months ago, the Large Hadron Collider found data that didn't follow the normal rules of particle physics. Sometimes different effects happen, and that's okay. But experts paid a lot of attention to this case. They are now paying close attention to this odd result to figure out what it means. 
People are excited about Z-Prime, a possible new particle. We haven't seen this particle before because it's so weak. It might be a new type of power. Scientists believe that this force may work with electrons and muons in a way that is different from how other forces do. Things could change a lot if they keep this new force. They have been looking for years for clues to help them figure out big puzzles of the world, like what dark matter is and what the Higgs boson's real job is. Some people even think this new force could help bring together all of nature's basic forces, which is one of the main goals of physics. It would be great if Z-Prime were real because it would help us understand and answer some of the most important questions about the world. The study that is going on at CERN could help us understand everything around us in a whole new way. An interesting experiment at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, makes particles move at 91 times the speed of light. These particles are sent in different directions, and when they meet, they hit each other very hard. This clash isn't just a cool science trick, it also makes a lot of new particles and a lot of energy. When these particles hit each other, they scatter in all directions. However, they only stay spread out for a short time before most of them disappear. There are very sensitive monitors right where these tests take place. It is the job of these devices to pick up every detail from these quick encounters. They are carefully put around the collision points. A huge amount of information is being gathered. A lot of data is sent to the LHC every year, more than 15 petabytes. Researchers spend a huge amount of time going through this huge amount of data very carefully in order to deal and study it. The LHC had saved more than 200 petabytes of data in its big tape libraries by 2017. Just to give you an idea, a petabyte can hold around 250,000 movies. They may ask you why they gather so much information. The action of a certain type of quark called the beauty quark is one of the many interesting things that have been found. A quark is the building block of matter. There are different kinds of quarks, and each has its own qualities. These types can change quickly and almost instantly become other particles. It only takes a trillionth of a second for the beauty quark to change, but recently it did some strange things that scientists didn't expect it to do. Current ideas say that when beauty quarks change, they should each become an equal number of leptons, which are lighter particles like electrons or muons. At the LHC, beauty quarks changed into muons 70% of the time, which is a lot more often than into electrons. This strange discovery makes me think that these changes might be caused by an unknown particle, which could mean that there is new physics we haven't found yet. This could mean a new particle with a power we don't understand. This could change what we know and make the standard model, which is the main scheme of particle physics, bigger. The standard model is a good way to understand particle physics, but it's not perfect. These strange changes in quarks bring up big questions that make the model less full. There may be new basic forces or particles about to be found. The ongoing work at the LHC is not only studying the depths of particle physics, but it could also change how we think about the basic forces and structures of the world. Let us now look at how these new findings might affect our main theory of physics. The search for the elusive Z-prime particle, the standard model of particle physics talks about three basic forces, the weak, the strong, and the electromagnetic. It doesn't explain gravity or dark matter, though, which is what most of the world is made of. Scientists recently found something strange in their tests that didn't go as planned. Because the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, has so much data, it often gives experts results they didn't expect. This one, in particular, caught their attention and led to more study. Scientists think that this strange event could point to a new fundamental force and a new particle, which could be named Z-prime. This particle might carry force, but it is thought to be very weak, which is why no one has seen it before. Some people think that Z-prime might interact with electrons and muons in a way that is different from how known particles do. However, it is still not clear how it fits in with the other particles in the standard model. It would be a huge step forward in physics to find a new particle that can carry force. Some of the big questions about the world that it could help answer are those about dark matter and the Higgs boson. 
Some experts even think this could help bring the basic forces together, which is a goal that has been worked on for more than 100 years. A particle collider called the Large Hadron Collider was built by CERN from 1998 to 2008. Elon Musk praised their work on it. Over 10,000 scientists from over 100 countries worked on this huge project with hundreds of organizations. The collider is about 175 meters below the ground in a 27-kilometer tunnel on the border between France and Switzerland, close to Geneva. The LHC has broken. Energy record since it started running. The first collision reached 3.5 tera electron volts per beam, which was almost four times the previous world record. It was later made better so that each beam could hit 6.5 tera electron volts. Musk said that the LHC can speed up both proton beams and lead ion beams, though proton beams are the most common type. The LHC tries collisions between protons and lead ions once a year for about a month to look into different particle physics ideas. These ongoing tests are very important for learning about the basic building blocks and forces of our world. That's not all the fun there is to it. People all over the world who study physics are interested in the Higgs boson, which is often just called the Higgs. This very small particle is connected to the Higgs field and stands for the energy that comes from it, like waves in the ocean. It's different from other particles because it doesn't behave like basic particles or particles that carry forces like electromagnetic fields or nuclear reactions. Scientists have been working at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which is the world's biggest particle collider, to try to figure out what the Higgs boson is. It is here that very fast particles crash into each other, making new particles like the Higgs and exposing them. When scientists found the Higgs boson on July 4, 2012, they were very proud of their big accomplishment. They mostly found it by watching it break down into two types of particles, photons and Z bosons. Z bosons are particles that are involved in weak interactions. The story didn't end here, though. When the Higgs boson was found, it led to new questions in the field of particle physics. Experiments at the LHC, especially those by the ATLAS and CMS teams, have been learning more about the Higgs boson. The proposed high luminosity upgrade of the LHC in 2029 will make this study a lot more useful. This update will make it easier to find rare events that current theories might not fully explain. It will do this by increasing the number of particle collisions. Next, we'll look at how these new ideas affect studies that are still going on at CERN. CERN's quest for 15 million Higgs bosons. CERN thinks that they will be able to make 15 million Higgs bosons every year after the update, up from 3 million in 2017. This rise might help find different kinds of Higgs bosons. Some ideas say there could be up to five types, with some showing up less often than others. That being said, scientists already had strong proof for a type called the magnetic Higgs boson before these improvements. The trip doesn't end there, though. Scientists think that studying the Higgs boson will help them figure out more about the world. Every experiment adds a new piece to the puzzle, and the big discoveries that come from them could help us understand the basic forces and particles that make up everything. Scientists are getting more and more excited because they are about to make new discoveries that will lead to scientific progress and a better understanding of the world around us. The Higgs field was a very important thought right after the world started because it changed the way space and time are organized. This field is what makes matter behave the way it does and gives particles their mass. Space would be empty without the Higgs field and the Higgs boson. There would be no atoms, stars, or life. The media mostly gave the Higgs boson the name God particle after it was discovered. The dramatic name comes from Leon Letterman, a scientist. He first called it the goddamn particle because it was so hard to find. Letterman wrote a book about it in the 1990s. He wanted to call it the goddamn particle, but the authors changed it to the god particle to stay out of trouble. A lot of people had different ideas about how this name related to faith and science. The Higgs boson and its field are very important. Particles would not have mass without them. There would be no galaxies, stars, planets, or life without mass. 
This is why the term, even if it's dramatic, makes it stand out. Higgs boson research is still going on to learn more about the early world and how it stays fixed over time. The Higgs field is unique because it gives empty space a base level of energy, which is necessary for the universe to exist. They believe that if they can figure out the energy of this field, they can explain why the electromagnetic force has an endless range, but the weak force doesn't. By making pairs of these particles, they are also looking at how Higgs bosons interact with each other. It's still not clear what the Higgs boson's own mass is, even though it gives other particles mass. The idea doesn't fully explain why its mass isn't unstable because of changes in quantum mechanics, which would make space less empty. Scientists are always looking for more particles like the Higgs boson, even though this won't happen for a very long time. Finding these could help us figure out what the universe's basic forces are and could even lead to new physics that we don't know about yet. There is even more to the Higgs boson's complexity. Scientists are also trying to figure out how the Higgs field fits into the bigger picture of how the universe has changed and stayed stable over time. Getting more information is important because we need new physics ideas to explain how the Higgs boson's mass stays stable. It is also suggested that when possible, higher energy colliders be used. Even after 10 years, this idea still keeps a lot of scientists busy all over the world. Scientists have been trying to figure out the Higgs boson for a long time. It was first suggested in 1964 and then found in 2012. It's puzzling why it took so long to be found. It's hard to find this particle because it's quite big and naturally unstable. A high-energy collider was used to focus a lot of energy in a small area so that it could be made. After being created, Higgs particles break down very quickly in a lot of different ways. However, only a few of these breakdowns can be seen clearly because of other things going on in the background. As new science comes out, it leads to big questions and crazy ideas about what CERN does. Researchers made some of the biggest and most advanced devices to look for these particles as part of their quest to learn more about the Higgs boson. It took them hundreds of billions of proton collisions to find the Higgs. Boson's unique mark. This wasn't the worst part, though. Some people are still not sure if the projects and findings made at CERN will lead to big steps forward in science or, as some fear, to terrible results. People who believe in conspiracies have said some scary things about CERN's work. A common idea is that CERN's work with very fast subatomic particles could accidentally cause terrible things to happen, like opening a doorway to a dangerous world. That being said, CERN has said that its work on making antimatter will help us learn more about matter and mass. It is made up of tiny particles whose charges are the opposite of those in matter. Some ideas about the Big Bang say that antimatter formed at the same time as the universe. Even though it's not common, antimatter should be as common as matter. It wasn't the only strange idea, though. Some people think that CERN's tests might change our reality, possibly sending our world into another dimension and messing up a lot of people's memories. This is called the Mandela Effect. Last but not least, there has been talk about claimed human sacrifices at CERN since a video from 2016 showed a fake ceremony taking place on the grounds of the facility. Later, CERN said that this movie was fake. A lot of people talked about the video online, which showed people in hoods what they said was a fake ceremony. But a spokesman for CERN said it was just a bad joke. Scientists have mostly ruled these ideas out, but they are still the subject of heated discussion and interest about the scope and effects of CERN's experiments. However, this wasn't the end of the story. People talk about CERN's work and wonder what will happen next because it is so interesting. It's still not clear if the cops began an investigation after a very bad incident. People were interested in CERN again on July 5th, 2022, which is not a surprise since it is often at the center of strange ideas. When things started up again after three years of upgrades and maintenance, the internet was full of different ideas. These ideas might be scary for science buffs, but it's clear that CERN's goals don't include making portals to other worlds, whether they're hellish, futuristic, or something else. 
Are we ready for what might happen if we find out what we don't know about particle physics? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more.